Hey Stan, this is Cheryl. I wanted to share my screen and just a video record the setting up of your Facebook. So you have that and anyone that ever joins your team can do it in the future anyway. So I just literally just logged in. I'm actually not going to remember the password here. <clears throat> so I logged into your Facebook and I'm just going to go straight to the top right to the down arrow and I'm going to so you have a my real estate page um, we're going to manage pages uh, let me look at this page for one second Huh. Okay. Okay, so I'll make a note of a couple things because since I'm about to create a new page for you. Um, okay, so first of all, okay, so you called it, I don't know why it says My Real Estate Zero. Probably because My Real Estate was not available. So that's considered your username that people literally up here will like, you know, that's what people, if you tell them the URL. And then my real estate, this above the actual username is your description, which should, first of all, it can be long. It can be longer and it can be totally different than the actual username. And the description here is actually what people will find when they are up here searching. So if someone says my real estate, I don't know if that's going to really represent that particular product. You might want to call it something else but anyway so this description can actually change up until the point where you have 5,000 likes on your Facebook business page this description can change this description above the username can be totally different um, than the actual username itself the username once changed you know can also be changed but the point is that when someone searches Facebook so we're talking about when home buyers and homeowners and this is not for my real estate but when home buyers Homeowners are searching real uh, search in Facebook, or in your case, let's say agents and brokers. They're going to be searching for things and words and phrases that represent, let's say, the best brokerage CRM, and that's kind of when they would find you based on the description. So I've been thinking about that as far as like your my homebridge. And the other thing is um, this is something we're definitely going to set up on the My Home Bridge, which is a chat bot. And um, I'm not going to mess with this page right this second, <clears throat> but I can later. I just was looking to see what you have set, it, set up in place. Um, right now, basically nothing. My Welcome to My Real Estate. We offer agents and people the best way to sell and buy houses. That's cool. It's just that there's really no additional content. So anyway, uh, you have that. So let me go to manage pages again, and let me just do create a page, mm, business or brand. And so again, the page name is not the username. The page name is the description of what you are going to do for people. The end user should read the, the, the page name and say, oh, that's me. Um, so, I'm just going to name this right now. Um, Let's see. We could name this so many different things. So this is always a challenge, but um, let's see. My home bridge. Um, 
cash loans for homeowners. Like I said, I mean, we'll have to mess with this. It can be changed. Um, I'm not sure right now. I'll just leave it like this. We'll have to change it. Where homeowners are free to purchase in cash. All right, so we'll just leave it like this for now. A thousand things run through my head. Buy before you sell with a cash loan. The category, real estate. And I'm gonna go ahead and let's fill this in right now. Not all your address stuff not memorized, but anyway, Piper Lane. Uh, let's see. You'll have to let me know if you care whether you want people to see this address or not. But anyway, it makes it more real if you can say yes, see the address. The other thing is, uh, now that you have this address <clears throat> associated, we would want to probably set up a, a Yelp and we would also want to do a Google My Business. Uh, those are going to make you totally legit. <clears throat> do continue. I haven't created the business manager yet. I'm going to do that next. So I'm just going to get the page created. Then I'm going to do the business manager, then go back and edit all the content of the page itself. And then you create the Instagram account and attach it to the page. So I don't have a profile picture at this second. So I'm going to skip this. Um, I don't have a cover photo, which actually, yeah, I might have to create a separate one. I will create a separate one. I'll make sure that it fits in the boxes perfectly. Skip that. All right, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna work on a cover and a, a logo. And now I'm just gonna start editing the information. So just so you know, real quick, what I'm going to be editing is the page info. Page info needs to be absolutely filled out, like completely. Summary of the page. Um, I want to just go ahead and add loan service here because you are in loan service. You are my homebridge. Um, the email I'm going to keep at stan at my homebridge.com. Um, huh, that's interesting. That's new. Wi Fi. Has a street address. Um, well, I'm not worried about telling people how to get to your location. I would say always open <clears throat> because you're always open to take calls. <clears throat> Sells goods and services. Do see all information. People never click on see all information. That's where really all the information is. So something else other than the photo and other than the header that is really, really important is this section right here, which is our story. This is where I'm going to take some of the content from um, and also possibly even, well, definitely post the video that we created in this business page and set it up. I won't record everything, but when you look back at it, it'll be completely filled out. But the story here is really important because this is something that shows up on the top right of every business page. People tend to leave this blank, but it's like the story. It's the separate from the description of the page. 
and it's important. So I wanted to mention right here, so the name of the page, My Home Bridge, Buy Before You Sell with a Cash Loan, but see here you have not created an actual username page, and this is where I wanted to make it My Home Bridge, but see this guy has this one. So we could just keep it like you did, which is my home bridge zero to match your my home, my real estate zero. I noticed you made, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it just like that. That way you, the name is still there and it kind of matches what you do with the my real estate. This makes it easy for you to say, what's, oh, what's your Facebook business page? Oh, it's just go to at my home bridge. They'll find it because my home bridge zero will pop up. And so, let me just go down here a second. So let me just refresh the page. And see now it shows up username, my home bridge zero, your my real estate zero, so you're consistent with that. And then the description, like I said, can change. If you want to add or change that, that doesn't matter. It can be changed. So <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff to edit right now, which is business, um, just content as far as descriptions and stuff. And then here is where uh, we would just really connect up everything. I don't have another account here, so I'm going to work on this. Um, but anyway, let me go to, let me go back here then. So now you've got this, my real estate, you've got my home bridge. Um, and what we what we want to do when we go to manage pages is we want to create a business uh, let me see let me just go straight to business i want to create a business manager um Let me go back here a second. Uh, let me just go to manage. Huh. You don't have a business manager, so I don't know why that, I need to find the location where that is right now. I'm just, I just said show ads manager because we want to create a business manager. So having an ad account individually, so I just want to look at this real quick. So yeah, right now you have basically one personal ad account. Every single thing right now, if you were to create an ad on Facebook, it would just show as if Standall personally has an ad running. When people look at the ad, they're going to say, who's the source of the ad? Let me go to that company. It would go to you personally, your personal profile. So you don't want that. And so... <clears throat> Oops, stay on this page. Uh, so the pages show up. And hold on a second. Let me just pause this one second. Okay, I, I literally had to remind myself of where the heck I found this. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, if you, if you only create one, you can create multiple business managers, but anyway, it's right here. It's like business.facebook.com. So I'm going to create an account. This is the business account managing my home bridge and can also manage my real estate, but if you wanted to create two separate business accounts, that would be fine too. <clears throat> Facebook doesn't care. As long as there's a credit card attached to a business uh, manager, they, you know, they'll spend your money. So I'm just gonna do my home bridge. Probably wanna create a separate one for my real estate.
I'm just editing this. You're not selling any physical products, so you provide services to other businesses. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it would be goods and services. I'm both, but that's fine. Okay, my homework was created. This is simply a business manager. This does not have anything to do with your personal profile page. And for, the purpose of this is so that you can add someone to your business manager who can simply go in and add that you want someone to be able to manage your page and manage your ads and not mess with your personal stuff. Even though it might not bother you now, it might bother you later. The other thing is once you add someone to your business manager to do that, if you don't like their services, you can remove them instantly with one click of a button. So you want to be able to add and remove people from your business manager without them infiltrating into your personal stuff. Click the link sent to Stan at my homebridge to receive access to this account. So you will need to click that. I'm not gonna add additional security at this moment. So don't get confused for, for, there's a Facebook business page, my home bridge, and a Facebook business page, my real estate, and then there's a business manager that manages the page. I'm gonna say remind me later on the extra security. So the business manager still has like, you know, a photo. I'm probably going to make a separate um, business manager icon because it gets confusing if every icon within these pages is all the same. And I'll make sure that it's really clear. So right now I want to add a page to this business manager. And I want to add a page you already own, which is one of those two. And we're just going to put... Um, My home bridge but see how my my real estate so you have my real estate as an internet company hmm. you might want to change like the category I don't know anyway we're gonna do my home bridge added the page so there's three things you have to do when you create a business manager first you add a page then you add an account and then you add people to manage that account uh, let me see, you do not have an account. So we're gonna create an account. Or wait, hold on. Add account, request access, create an ad account. This is a, a specific ad account for my home bridge. This ad account will be used for my business that we just created. So by default, of course, you're in there. Add people and set permissions. <clears throat> All right, let me just see a second. Um, okay, well, first of all, you know, obviously you need to do everything. <clears throat> Set permissions for the user you selected. So I'm just gonna say you obviously have full control. Okay, we can go in later and add someone else and then add people. So let's just say you wanna say, I wanna give someone uh, access to manage my account. And then you want to give probably Marilyn access and whoever else. And I'm just going to do admin access for now. And you're saying, okay, I added a person, Cheryl. Who is this person? Have, what does this person have access to? The My Home Bridge. So you could, let's say, have two people have access to my real estate and two people have access to my home bridge, but not all the same. 
It is not as confusing as it sounds. It's just they make it very granular so that you can control everything. So I added Cheryl. I said, okay, well, what access does Cheryl have? She has access to my Homebridge. Um, she can publish content. She can moderate comments. She can create ads. She can view performance. And she, or she can, and she can manage my page. I'm going to say manage my page, which is kind of everything for now. It can always be changed like in a second. Um, and the ad accounts, you want to, I want to have access to that. You don't have any catalogs or apps. And then you want to invite this person, which is me, to manage this business. And I will get an email that says, someone added you to this business manager, confirm. So there's a confirmation that you need to do it, stand at my home bridge, I might go do that for you. And then there's also the confirmation for me. And if you wanted to add Marilyn, you would add her here. So you've done the three things necessary to add the business account, now you're ready. Now I just need to fill in all the information. <clears throat> Once you confirm, the creation of the business account, once I confirm the, edit, the adding of me to the business account, then I'll be able to go in and basically just manage your page. And um, I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. So let me just go in here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go confirm the access you just gave me to the page. Uh, create a name for myself. This will determine how your name is shown inside the business. To verify who you are by logging in with your personal Facebook account to access my home bridge. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want that. Hold on a second. I have to do something. I have to. Uh, whoops, wrong one. I want to go in and log out of Facebook as you and log in as me because it's trying to finish it up as me, as you. Let me log out. Uh, here it is. Oh, Lord. Hold on a second. Okay, so I had to, um, I had to log into my page. All right, so now I'm back to my page. And now that I'm logged in as my page, I'm going to go back to where, let me just, uh, I'm just going to shut this down a second. I'm going to go back to doing my verification. All right, now it's saying, okay, verify. Sometimes you're like crossing your fingers that everything works because it's ridiculous how complicated they make it sometimes. <clears throat> All right, so basically I'm just looking at your ad account. I'm just looking at everything I just created for you because now that I've verified that I could get access, I have access. And so I have access to basically manage the My Homebridge business page, my, manage the My Homebridge account, which of course there's no credit card attached to it. And basically just update the content and information and that's what I'm going to do right now so um, that is the creation of that so the creation of the Instagram account I'm I actually need to do from my phone so I'm guessing that you probably don't have an account so I'm just gonna create that from scratch and I can't re I can record that actually through zoom I might try to do that but anyway that's a really quick simple thing and you can also um, 
you can also go to the business page and add an account right then. <clears throat> but see, now you can see that under my Facebook, I have access to this one I never used. Uh, my home bridge, which needs to be updated, Richens Academy, this is another agent, and then it's like my personal account. So that is the creation of the Facebook business page, the business manager and all that. And let me know if you want me to add Maryland, if you don't want to mess with logging in and trying to figure this out. <laughs>